Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Yo Adrian. This is Train Sim World. I'm pretty, pretty pumped for this game. I've been pumped for it since the beta came out. I've played the beta, and now the actual game came out today, about 15 minutes ago. I went through the basic tutorial and stuff. So right now, I'm ready to get into a scenario. Um, this is honestly the most possible realistic train simulator you can find this day and age, besides a Run 8 simulator. But I think this one's a little bit more realistic as well as th better graphics and stuff like that than its counterpart of Train Simulator 17, which, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad simulator, it's just some physics and issues and stuff like that could have been a lot more better and more addressed to, like they addressed in this game. So, I'm actually pretty pumped to do this game, like I said, I've done the tutorial, I'm ready to get in here and start a scenario, so let's go ahead and take a look at our scenarios. Oh, uh, you got a helping hand. It's your first day on the job. Some cars will recently take out of a westbound due to a faulty brake hose not detected before its departure. The cars have been repaired on site at Hindeman and they need to be returned to Cumberland for insertion to another train. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just, you know, to start us off, and it is the first scenario. So, this is just the uh, loading screen, but uh, I'm actually pretty, pretty pumped for this game. I do have a rail driver controller, but... I do not know if it is compatible with this game as of yet, so today we're just going to go ahead and use mouse and keyboard. So here we go, a helping hand. There's our locomotive, I believe. CSXT number 8232. Looks to be an SD40-2. Looks like we have dual SD40-2s. Man, this is already beyond my expectations. This game is amazing already. I earned a reward for starting a scenario. That's awesome. Well, there's CS6888, so you're the rookie that giving me the task of showing around. Well, in my view, there's no better way to learn than on the job. Yada, 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 and ring. Climb aboard. All right. I'm going to go ahead and climb aboard. Climb up those steps. I don't know why my game is a little glitchy, but it could just be the, uh, the, the, the graphics, whatever. Earned a reward for using the doors. Go ahead and climb in the engineer seat and see what we can do. For reaching in the yard. Contact the dispatcher for permission to head out to Hindley. All right, you my conductor. Yes, you Take are. The locomotive up, up and we'll get going when you're ready. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and turn the headlights on to bright. Get the reversal forward. Right to release. Locomotive brake will be not bailed off, but release. Is it not going to release it? Okay, it's released. These locomotives on. And turn J to turn the ditch lights on. As well as uh, we got the step lights. I'll do that, just turn the gauge lights on. Boom, there we go. What else we got? We got the horn. Okay. So he's going to be contacting this dispatcher, X551, requesting a track warrant from Cumberland Terminal to Hydeman. I don't know if I actually have the car I'm looking for right now. I do not. Alright, so we're going as far as Cumberland, waiting on Q116, or the Cumberland Station, and then we're going to wait, wait for eastbound Q116 to proceed, and then proceed to Hydeman. Alright, so I don't know which uh, actual... Okay, it should be released. I don't know where the actual car we're supposed to go is, so we're just going to turn the bell on since we are in the yard. I believe it's a 15 mile an hour limit. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to the throttle once we get around 10. Yeah, we'll go to idle now and just kinda coast. Stop that location adjacent to Cumberland Station. Uh, yeah, we do not have the actual um, car we're supposed to be taking, but I'm gonna go ahead and shut this door a little bit. Just because this thing, I don't know why the conductor's sitting in that one. I don't know where his desk is. I think that's something they kinda forgot to impose, but. It's okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up my windows here. It is a nice day. The sun visor can go down a little bit more. That one can actually go right there. All 
Alright, so this is actually a pretty, pretty interactive cab. I like it. You can turn the engine, you can actually have the uh, power to turn the engine on. I believe you can mess with the radio and stuff. No, not, no, we can't mess with the radio. Oh, well. Got the sander and stuff, the bell, the alerter, the bell. Rear headlights, spotter, the ditch lights and stuff on and stuff, all that other fun junk. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do, uh, let's do one. Yeah, let's do one. So we can get back to 10. Yeah, we're on our way to Cumberland Station. This game has really exceeded my expectations so far. I'm not really a fan of CSX because I haven't really seen too many CSX locomotives in my lifetime. But I mean, this looks just looks amazing. Like, good God, I love it. And our power is actually two SD40-2s, number 8232 and AT468, I believe. So I think we're just going to be running around to the end of the yard here, because I think that's where I'm supposed to be going, is to that blue marker, but I really have no idea, unless I'm going to that red marker. Honestly, I have no idea. I can actually, oh, that's awesome, I didn't, know, I didn't even realize I could open the back door there. What's that? Fuse cabinet, now we don't need that. But yeah, this is pretty, pretty awesome. I enjoy it. I've, like I said, I've played the tutorial. This is possibly one of the best games, or realistic train simulator games out there. Let's go ahead and turn the bell on for this crossing. Not a whistle post, I don't believe, so I'm just going to turn the bell on. But yeah, also, when I am playing these uh, train simulator games, I am going to be speaking in railroad lingo. Just because I'm somewhat fluent in it. I've been on trains my entire life, so I kind of picked up like railroad terminology and stuff like that. So if I do speak in railroad lingo, just know I'm trying to add more realism to the game. I'm trying to see if I can actually... Okay, so I can't. Okay, so it looks like they posted a new announcement. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to open it up in the middle of the game. I'm just going to turn the visor back out. But yeah, I was so pumped for this game. I was actually expecting a midnight release for it. I literally got off work last night, waited till, stayed up till midnight to uh, actually play this game. Then I found out that they're not. It's not going to be released until noontime Thursday here, because I thought it would have been a midnight release, but it's not. So I'm just like, eh, whatever. So it's about 12, almost 12:30 here, and I'm finally in the game. It only took me about five minutes to download, which is awesome. The tutorial took about five or ten minutes, but now we're in the game. I'm pumped. I'm excited. Even though we're kind of doing like a little basic or a basic. Uh, uh, scenario here. There's going to be more to come in the future. I guarantee it. Honestly, I was about to play Train Simulator 2017 and just do a video on that if this thing wasn't released by 6 p.m. Just because I've been waiting for it and I'm just like, it's midnight. Well, this was last night. I was like, it's midnight. Should I just should I just do Train Simulator 2017? Yeah, I probably will. Then I kind of looked on the forums to see if anyone had like an actual release time, and they said it was going to be about noon time where I'm at, 5 p.m. in London or UK or wherever it was based out of GMT time, I believe it's called. So I'm just like, eh, you know what? I'll wait. It's okay. I can wait. Patience is key. So here we are. I believe that is the Q116 I'm waiting for. I don't really know. I think it is. Possibly? I don't know, but those locomotives just look so good. The graphics in this game just look so amazing. Even though I know... Let's go ahead and move the sunshade up so you can actually see these uh, CSX intermodal cars. Man, those are just amazing. Where's the mirror? Oh, there's, cool. There's the mirror. Yeah, I don't believe that is the 116 I'm waiting for. I don't even think I'm moving towards the station. Unless, I mean, it is DTC territory, I believe, so the dispatch. Okay, yes, I am moving towards the station. It's just been a mile for a while, so I'm just like, uh, am I going the right way? 
But yeah, this game, I love it so much. So I, I don't believe that is the 116. I think that's a different uh, train we're waiting on. I mean, the only flaw of this game at the moment is that all the containers are CSX. But other than that, I just love it so much. Cruising at strictly 10 miles an hour through these yard. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another external view. Like this is gonna be like your free camera view. This one's like the back of the locomotive. I think this one's more for like switching duties where you can like look around and switch. There is no oh, there is no other things. All right. So you're about 720 yards out away from Cumberland Station. Doing a roll by of this uh, CSX intermodal train. Not sure of the symbol. But when I say roll by, I mean I'm checking the train, checking for any defects like unconnected air hoses, dragging equipment, which is stuff dragging that's on the tracks and the train just kind of dragging like plastic bags or whatever. I don't think I'm going to see too much of that in this game, but in real life, it's a real life thing. Normally when uh, there's a train stopped on the siding waiting for a train, the conductor will actually walk out of the locomotive to do a quick check of the train, then uh, walk the engineer or conductor of the opposing train, letting him know his train's fine or if he has a defect and let him know how far back it is of the train and what the defect is. Like it could be a smoky axle, could be a bag just kind of dragging in the car, could be an air hose that's, uh, that's just dragging down the track. But normally if it's an air hose dragging down the track, it's uh, gonna throw the train in emergency, but yeah. Or the train will start losing air. One of the two. Yeah, this train looks uh, all good so far. Nothing really too fancy. The sounds in this game are just so kind of realistic that it's pretty that I enjoy it. It's it's a real realistic simulator type game that I enjoy. I just want to see if they have markers in the rear. That would be amazing. Oh, it does not have an EOT device in the rear, which is the end of train device. It does not have one. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to idle since we're almost to our Cumberland station. Looks like we're going to stop right ahead over there. About 200, about 200 yards or so. I do apologize if I keep turning back. It's a, uh, I'm just trying to take in all the, uh, Beautiful graphics, my conductor is kind of sitting over there. Let me go ahead and switch back to one. Just so I don't uh, drop speed up until that marker. I want to stop right on that marker. Alright, so let's go ahead and go back to uh, idle. Here, about 100 yards out, so I'm going to go ahead and start applying the brake for my initial reduction, and we're all going to go ahead and sound the horn. Take off initial reduction just because we're still kind of out. I'm going to go ahead and move back to one. Yeah, the uh, uh, two whatever. Idle. Uh, there we are. And we're stopped. This is X551. We're ready to head to Heinemann. Over. We're ready. We're ready, the dispatch is ready, the NOM ready, and we're going to go. Alright, subject to signal indications, here we go. Subject to signal indications, proceeding to Heinemann. Out. Alright, go via the Narrows. So we're going to go via the Narrows, I believe it's still a 15 mile an hour zone. I don't know. But, uh... Dispatcher gave us the okay to depart. We're departing. I believe that was the Q116 we were waiting on. So here we go. Highball. And highball is the departure term for a train. So I'll be using that a lot on Amtrak and freight uh, trains. Okay, we do have a little crossing coming up here is what I'm seeing. I'm going to go ahead and sound the horn for that. I don't know. I didn't see a whistle post sign, which... Tells the engineer to sound the horn, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway, just so I can hear how beautiful this horn sounds. Oh, that sounds amazing. That sounds a lot more realistic than in Train Simulator 2017. 
it just looks a lot better. So I think I do. Okay, no, I don't. Oh man, we are really going down on frames. We're at 22, 20 frames. Jesus. It's not good. It's not really good, but it works. It'll work for now. One thing I enjoy about this game is that, like, it actually has the cab number, or the locomotive number and the type of locomotive it is in the cab. They started doing that in a train simulator 2017, but they never actually succeeded in it. Alright, so that, those signals are not part of us. But they, yeah, they never actually succeeded in it. They did it in, like, one or two locomotives, but other than that, it's just been the same thing. And it's nice to actually have a locomotive that doesn't say UP when it's owned by a different railroad. But, whatever. Man, this game is, has some amazing graphics. Like, oh my god. Alright, so there's a 25 mile an hour. You know, let's switch to that once our... Uh, Second locomotive clears that sign. Yep. Looks like we have a restricting coming out of the yard. So we're not going to go ahead and proceed past 15, 10. I'm going to say 10 miles an hour. Some it's 15. Some railroads it's 15. Some railroads it's 10. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do 15 just to play it safe. Restricting signal is a red over white, which means the engineer can proceed or the train can proceed at restricted speed normally coming out of a yard or following a train or something like that so we're gonna go ahead looks like we're gonna go straight on down the main line so I'm gonna go ahead and run 15 miles an hour yeah because my marker is set for 15 now it's set for 25 but I'm not gonna go above 20 I believe that's another crossing which I'm gonna sound my horn for I think we're going to be, yes we are diverging onto the other track. We're going to go ahead and keep it a steady rate of 15 for now. And you do see 35, 25. 35 is for passenger trains, 25 is for freight trains if you don't know. So yeah, there we go. There's looks to be a whistle, yep, there's the whistle post sign that we're going to be following. There's a sign that tells the engineer there's a crossing up ahead. And a crossing sequence is a long, long, short, long horn sequence. Just to alert other motorists that we're coming through. Because we don't stop for no cars at all. And that's what some people don't understand. Or some people need to understand is that trains do not stop for cars. Trains don't stop for anything. Pretty much. I'll go ahead and kind of look out these things just to kind of get the scenery and stuff. Wow, this scenery is so amazing. I love it so, so much. Oh, there's a pickup truck. I wonder what he's doing over here. I don't even know how we got there in this sense, but whatever. Looks like we're going to head out of town here. There's a town crossing over, or the road crossing over. Got throttle. We're going to go turn back to throttle one. You know, we did have that restricting signal, but we're on the main line right now, so I'm going to go ahead and switch back up to my 25 mile an hour. So we're going to go switch it up to three. I'm going to take my drink. But yeah, there's actually this new energy drink I found last week, actually. It's called Old Glory. It uh, supports the uh, National Guard and Operation Homefront. I found it at my Casey's for 99 cents. There's three different kinds. There's the original, which is just citrus flavor. There's Old Glory Reload, which is mango lemonade and 10 calories. And then there's the sugar-free one, which I believe is also citrus. So yeah, it's a pretty great energy drink. It's also cheap, but it's better tasting than Monster Amp than anything else I've ever tasted. I haven't had, or I haven't found one I hated yet. So, 
going up to uh, 24 miles an hour. We'll go actually 25 mile an hour and go back to idle. But can. I believe this is the Narrows. Yes, it is. This is the Cumberland Narrows. It's crazy that just the Wills Creek comes out. Lucky for us, it did. Otherwise, it would have added another 10 miles to the line if we had to go around in this hill and the crescent. Plenty of floods come through here in the fall. Strong enough to wash away road and rail. Although, things have improved. Now the creek runs in a concrete box. But it still breaks free now and again. Huh. See, I'm going to try not to talk whenever my conductor's talking because he's going to try to do, like, basic information on the line and stuff. So I'm going to try not to talk over him. But, uh, I'm enjoying this game so much so far. Now, I think they said this was a 60-minute scenario, so I'm going to go ahead and possibly cut this into two parts of two 30-minute videos, maybe even more or less. I don't know yet. But yeah, I'm enjoying this game so much so far. It's just an amazing game. We have more interaction with the cab controls than an actual train simulator 2017, which I enjoy. You see EOTD emergency. Uh, I honestly don't remember if I had my uh, headlight on on the rear of this locomotive. I mean, I should, but... You know, I had the ditch lights on. That's one thing I forgot to actually check. Is that I should possibly throw that on as well. Yes, there we go. I don't think they're on, but it's whatever. But yeah, anytime you're running a locomotive as this last minute, last car of the unit, or the last car of the train is what I'm trying to put out, you want the headlight on as dimmed, just so it signifies the end of the train. Sometimes they'll throw a red flag on there to signify it, normally they want like a red flashing light, but I think the marker lights would work, since I can't really turn the headlight on. The marker, or the, di not marker lights, the freaking ditch lights would work too. But yeah, the air hoses and everything move, like sway and stuff, that, that's pretty amazing that they interpreted that into the game. That's pretty, pretty amazing. So here we go with a 35 mile an hour zone. Looks like Pasture's going to have 40. Does it change right after? Yes, it does. So we're going to go ahead and get back up to uh, Auto 5. And then go back to uh, Idle. Oh, uh, we'll put you back to one. Go to one. Because this needs to be dropped, and so we'll go up to two. What's that? That's a bridge. So, I don't know if I was supposed to pick up a uh, car or not, unless I'm going to the place to pick up the car. I don't really know, unless the second locomotive was the uh, defected... Uh, car that's in the game, but I don't really know, to be honest. I'm still trying to figure this game out myself. There we go. Alright, so now we should be cruising along at 35 miles an hour. On a 1% grade. Looks like we're going to hit to a 50 mile an hour zone coming up in about a mile. Ellis Isles coming up in about a mile, or however, you make, make, or however you pronounce that name, and then something else is coming up in a mile too, so we'll see. We'll see. Man, I can't get enough of that energy drink. It's delicious. Totally delicious. But yeah, if you guys are watching this and you enjoy Train Simulator games, I would recommend picking up a copy of this. Even though mine, for some reason, is kind of shitty within frame-wise, I believe it's 30, we're running at about 30, 30, 35, 36, some, some frames right there, I don't know. Yeah, I would recommend totally picking up a copy of this. This game is just so amazing right here. 
I enjoy it so much. I'm gonna go and take a screenshot for my uh, thumbnail. But yeah, this game is so so amazing right now. Love the uh, the detail of the graphics, detailed locomotives. Looks like we're meeting someone here. This is gonna be a manifest of some sort. We got a clear. Big tanker truck. Got that. A crossing back there we have to blow the horn for. One thing I'm happy about this game that I'm noticing right there on that signal in, in Train Simulator 2017 is when you clear the block, it uh does not, the signal does not change to clear for the opposing side, which I like. Because in uh, Train Sim 2017, it did that all the time and it annoyed the fuck out of me because I kept thinking that another train's coming in following me. But, uh, or coming in my direction and it crash head onto me. But, I'm glad this game doesn't do it, and I'm happy. 34 miles an hour, we're heading up to Versailles right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's Versailles because it's a double L. We're about 500 or 460 yards out from there. Here comes the 50 mile an hour zone. Size right there. Got another whistle post. It looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and throttle up. I noticed that these trains throttle up real fast. Even though, I, even though I am carrying only like two engines or just the two engines. Up ahead, we'll pass through the town of Ellerslie. Ellerslie. Much of no, but this run up from the Narrows to Hyman is our last chance to be sure about the train brakes before beginning to climb the sand path summit. Coming down, you're just as treacherous. After the twist of Glen Cole and Fairhope, you'll be glad to see a straight cut. Don't get too comfortable. Too much speed and curve of Corrigan will have you in the dirt in no time. That's something to keep in mind. Don't get too much speed, so we're kind of going to go ahead at our rate of 50 miles an hour. Nothing more than that, or else I guess we'll be in the dirt. So I want to try to go dynamic break it down if I possibly can. We're running at a steady 49 miles an hour now, but we are also going downhill. So I'm possibly going to go ahead and turn the uh, dynamic brake on if we do. So now we're going to go ahead and go via Cook Mills. There's another small town off the route. Grabbing the train, grabbing the train, grabbing the train. Man. This looks so good. This game just looks so amazing. I'm happy I waited since midnight last night for it to release 12 hours later. So we got another clear coming up. We got the curve right here with the whistle post. Oh, that's not a curve. That's just a signing. My bad. I see where this uh, there is the crossing. See what it looks like out here. Oh, that got worse speed. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, 52 miles an hour, that's alright. I know engineers on whenever I take the train will go about two over. That's usually about the overdrive they can go is two over and then they'll start sounding the alerter once it gets to three mile an hour. Just to let them know, hey, you're speeding, slow down. Fifty miles an hour. No, oh man, it's got flashing ditch lights. That's, I think that's the highlight of my my or my day right there is flashing ditch lights. That's awesome. Passengers going fifty miles or seventy nine miles an hour. We're going fifty. Don't know what town we're in, but we're in a town. I do apologize for all the zooming in and stuff. Zooming in and out. That's normally how I play. I'm gonna try to stop so I can just kind of stay in this animation for the game, but. Or for my when I record, but this game is just so amazing. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. My conductor's just kind of sitting there like, why the fuck is this guy talking to himself? How's it going, buddy? Hey, you want to talk? No, you don't want to talk. 
No. Alright. He won't talk. He ain't gonna talk to me. Nobody wants to talk to me. So we're back in another 50 mile an hour zone. Coming, or coming up to another 50 mile an hour zone. Passenger slows down to 55. We go 50. Yes, I said 50. Get over it. There's another 50 mile an hour zone. So many speed, so many speed changes in this on this route. So many. Coming up to Cook Mills in about 500 yards right now. Let's see what he has to say about Cook Mills. He's watching our gauges here. They look like to be in tip top shape. Perfect. Call what kind is that? Can I call my attendant. I can't. Alright. Oh, so I can use the radio. You're running great so far. Keep it up. I'm running great so far. That's always gotta say to me. Yeah, it's a dispatch. I don't that's an emergency break, I don't wanna really use that. Can I not turn this on? No. Oh. Dan's well. down the horn here for this crossing. Get her back up. Let's get her back up to 50. Yeah, it's got to turn it to 5. Shut the bell off. I don't want to do an emergency, but I kind of want to hear the dispatch tone. Yeah, I can't. I can't do anything with the radio. Oh well. We've got the crossing right there. Yes, it is. An old style crossing. Got another crossing coming up. What it cleared about 400 yards. Go ahead and get this thing back up to 50. Road leads to you. Oh, okay, that's a short road. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, turn on the bell off. Cruising 50. Go via Wills Creek. I'm actually pretty, pretty pumped to do a series about this game right now. Look at that. Look at that beautiful SD4-2 locomotive. Look at this beautiful SD4-2 locomotive. The only thing that's kind of stopping this game right now is my graphics card, but other than that, it's amazing. I just need to get a brand new graphics card. Do you have the 970 Ti Stream Core version, but I think I should. I think it's time to upgrade whenever. And you also have to get a capture card. Oh, I can turn on the air conditioner. Nice. Nice. That's the engine controls. Yeah, I don't want to mess with those uh, mid-run. Single unit and immediate unit. We'll go ahead and uh, mess with this headlight control, actually. Yeah, okay. So we're kind of going in between 59 and 40. Here's Wills Creek. You've no doubt noticed we share a lot of tracks out of Wills Creek over Sandpatch Creek. These hills don't need much room for the railroad to squeeze past. I'm going to go ahead and dim my headlights right here just so I don't blind this uh, engine here. So medium. He's got low four to five engines. Damn. He's also going fast in the 60. I believe he's going, he's going a lot faster than 50 miles an hour. Oh well, who cares? We're running on a clear, he's good to go. We got a clear. Go via Hindman. Alright, so three miles to Hindman. Looks like I'm not going to make this a two-parter after all. I do apologize for some of the commentary being a little 
kind of da -da -da -da. spotty, shoddy, whatever the hell you want to call it. Because I'm so I'm just kind of taking in the game and play and do commentary at the same time. It's still it's kind of difficult because you want to appreciate all the beauty of the scenery and stuff like that. And uh, it's just so good. This game really exceeded my expectations. So we're about uh, four miles out, two miles out of Highland. That's our location. I believe that's where we have to go pick up the car that uh, was dropped off or if that's the destination. I don't remember. I know we're going to Heinemann. That's about all I know for now. Unless I'm going from Heinemann, getting the car, and then taking it back to Cumberland, which could be a possibility. If we do that, I'm going to go pick up the car, cut the video here, and then pick up the car in another video. That's probably what's going to happen if that happens. Or if it just cuts off at Heinemann, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, crossing here. Sometimes I don't see those whistle posts. An abandoned truck right there. But yeah, about a mile out of Hindman with the approach medium looks to be. Now it's different. This signal is different for each railroad. In CN terms, the railroad that I live near, that would be a approach diverging. But for CSXT, I've noticed that's an approach medium. So I'm going to go ahead and slow down because I know my next thing was going to be a diverging clear, diverging approach, or looks to be an approach. And again, kind of stuttered there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of slow down a little bit just in order. I do still have two miles, so I sh actually I should be fine. There's another whistle post. There's that crossing. We're gonna go ahead and back speed up the city just because we still have some time. God damn it, Skype, why do you have to ruin my videos? Don't ask about the chin, just don't ask those just don't ask. My friends decide to make some weird ass names for their uh, channels or for their uh, profile, so don't ask. Please don't ask. So I'm going to go ahead and slow her down right now. Got another cross. That's a bridge. We're about 300 and some yards out. 300, about 300 right now. So we're going to go ahead and slow her down. Idle. So we're going via Heinemann. So we're not actually stopping here. Objective complete. X551 approaching Hyden. Requesting permission to stop and run back into the siding. Over. That's right, so a requesting permission. Hopefully, dispatch gets back to us with that permission. I'm going to go ahead and slow down. That's our subject signal indication. X551, subject to signal indications, proceeding with stop and run back. Out. Alright, so. Looks like we're going to stop and run back into the siding. I don't know where the siding actually is. We're passing through Hyde. The siding should appear on the right hand side shortly. It runs until just outside town. Stop beyond the switch and we'll run back into it and connect to the stop cars. Okay, so we are going to actually pick up the uh, car here. Okay, so X551 approach, Hodman. I believe the sliding is going to come up right around this uh, bend. We're going to speed up a little bit. I didn't know what the hell they want me to do. So, mile pole, what is it? mile pole 191.8, track 1. Alright, so let's see where the siding is. I believe I snuffed the bridge. I don't see where the siding actually is. So, I'm just going to go ahead and run around at my uh, signal speed, which should be 35 miles an hour for freight. So, that's what I'm just going to go ahead and do until we return and switch. No sense in uh, going 
going 20, whatever mile, whatever I was going, I think it was like 17 or whatever. No sense in going that. Got another wolf post coming up here after the bridge, I believe. And we have a 25 coming up, I believe, for the siding. I don't see my crossing. Ah, oh, there it is. See it now. Sound the horn. I believe those are the cars I'm looking for. The F3. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and shut the throttle to idle. And then slow down to service. Or actually, you know what we'll do? If I can go back to the initial release, we'll do initial release. Can't do initial release. Alright. Alright, so those I believe are the three cars I'm going to have to pick up. The switch should be around here somewhere. That's uh, still a little further down. Jesus Christ. 500 yards down. No, not too much. 500 feet, whatever. Can't get enough of that image. Doing good God. Looks like a maintainer is already on scene for the vehicles, or if that's just a random pickup truck. I think that's just a random. Yeah, it's just a random abandoned pickup truck. Alright, so there's the uh, switch point. You know, and get past that and come to a stop, collect our cars, and then that's gonna be it for this uh, episode, guys. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up after this. Once we get coupled on. Alright. Just cut the throttle off. Initial reduction. Sound the horn for our stop movement. Oh, uh, probably not. Okay, so I have to go a little bit further. 16 yards. There we go. I don't mean to go through all that. I believe the uh, switch got set. I don't know. Or do I have to set it? I believe I have to set it. Whoa, 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 what's going on? Stop the train, I don't understand what's, what's doing, what's happening. I'm so confused right now. Do I have to set my own switch? Stop that location, that's what I'm doing. I did before my train started to take off on me. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna stop before that switch. Okay, so I'm stopped at it. I don't know. What I'm supposed to actually do now? Am I supposed to set the switch myself? Okay, I'm rolling backwards, something I don't want to do. I believe I'm supposed to set the switch myself. Let's see. Sign so should appear on the right hand side shortly or runs a stop beyond the switch and we'll run back into it and connect to the stop cars. So yeah, the track is aligned for the main line, which I don't understand. 
I'm gonna go ahead back into that thing and see what I can do. See, maybe I wasn't in the marker far enough. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's only like two yards and that's it. Objective complete. Okay, so I wasn't far enough. Well, I don't know, that's that's pretty realistic. You have to stop exactly as far as it says. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and watch from the uh, this locomotive here. Because I don't want to bang into these cars. Oh, I did not set the switch. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do it for this episode while I figure out life over here. And uh, I do apologize for the shitty ending right here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it quits here. And then we'll pick this up in the next episode while I try to figure out life. Peace out, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. If you enjoyed, if you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, comment. Really appreciate it, and hope you guys.